Now, President Trump granted a full pardon Thursday to conservative commentator Dinesh D'Souza, and he joins us now. Dinesh, welcome to the program. Good to see you. Good to see you. Dinesh, you put out a movie that was very critical of President Obama. It was called 2016 Obama's America. Because of that, do you think you were targeted? Uh, yes, the movie wasn't just an ideological critique of Obama. It actually went into Obama's world. I mean, there I was in Kenya in a slum in Nairobi uh, interviewing uh, President Obama's brother, George, and Obama had been going around saying that we are our brother's keeper, but here was his brother living in third world poverty, and Obama had not lifted a finger to help him. So all of this didn't sit very well with Obama. Uh, and I think in retaliation, he unleashed his dogs, uh, Eric Holder and this fellow Preet Bharara in New York, to go after me. Now, you were pardoned uh, on virtually the same day, or in the same statement, I believe, as Rod Blagojevich had his, has his sentence commuted, and Martha Stewart was given a pardon. So you're in the company of Blagojevich and Martha Stewart. Um, I think he was just talking about well, pardoning I, I them. Think, I'm sorry, you know, I, I, I think get that right. But how do you feel about being in the same statement uh, as those two? Well, if, if I'm right, my pardon was handled separately. Uh, the president had called me the day before. Uh, he said that he had looked at my case. Uh, he said he knew it was fishy from the outset. Uh, but his words were, you got screwed. Uh, he goes, you committed a technical violation, but those people, meaning the Obama people, went after you with everything they got. And uh, he said he was going to set that injustice right. Um, now, the very fact that Trump is considering pardons for people like Blagojevich tells me that this is not ideological. It's not Trump pardoning his own team. Uh, he feels that there are injustices that were perpetrated, and he wants to set, he has the power to fix them. Uh, Dinesh, you said that the, the president called you. Was that the first you heard about it, or had you been making an application to the, to the president? Uh, I, I made no application, Stuart. In fact, there was a social media campaign to collect petition signatures to get me pardoned. But I felt it was unseemly for me to campaign for my own pardon, so I didn't even read. I, didn't, I stayed away from it. Now, I did have dinner. My wife and I had dinner with Senator Ted Cruz about a month ago. And Senator Cruz uh, voluntarily said, look, I'm, I'm outraged at your case. I'm going to ask President Trump to pardon you. Uh, and Cruz had called me and told me that the president was receptive. But he said, look, it's, it's, there's a legal review. It's a complicated matter. It's not a done deal until you get the call from the White House. And then, literally two or three weeks later, uh, I got the call from the White House. That must have been quite a moment. Uh, how do you feel about uh, Howard Schultz leaving Starbucks and maybe making a run for the presidency? Well, this would be very interesting. Uh, I mean, Schultz is one of the great entrepreneurs of our time. He's essentially changed. Uh, it's very rare that one can not only start a successful business, but you would almost say uh, change the way Americans kind of live their ordinary day. I mean, Starbucks is a feature of, of my day. Uh, and so I think this is a great entrepreneur. Uh, but it takes more than that to be president. You, you not only have to be an entrepreneur, you have to sort of understand uh, how to communicate the principles of entrepreneurship. You have to have that public leadership, and whether he has that, I have no idea. And you've got to have a policy which supports entrepreneurial activity and free market capitalism. You've got to have that if you want to make our economy a success. That would be my point. Last word to you, Dinesh. Uh, yes, I think that we're living at an interesting time in American history. Trump, Trump's very election shows that people wanted something different and something new. They wanted someone to shake things up. And the f very fact that this outsider has been performing so well, I mean, looked at just purely in the objective terms of the economic numbers, uh, shows you that Americans, I think, are reassessing uh, what they mean by leadership and who the guy is that they want to see in the Oval Office from now on. Dinesh D'Souza, we're delighted to see you on the program as a free man, and that's a good thing.